not end of the world, everyone. <laughs> the coronavirus, COVID-19, has officially reached our backyard here in Brownsville, Texas. There are two cases in town. There's two in the, the suburb, neighboring community, Rancho Viejo. Two more in the town 30 minutes from here, Harlingen. And two more in the neighboring county, Hidalgo. Bringing the total here in South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, to eight. Y'all, this is serious friggin' business. Don't leave the house if you don't need to. I'm literally just doing it because I have to pay the electric bill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's stay six feet away from people, practice social distancing. Ah, well, who am I to tell you what to do? I trust that you're taking the proper, pr the proper precautions wherever you are. This whole thing makes me wonder about the long-term consequences about this, like... I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Currently, the market is crashing. This is perhaps the most unexpected black swan recession, as, as they're putting it. However, as it just so happens, some of the biggest companies in the world also started in recessions. Uh, recessions really make uh, entrepreneurs get get creative. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of all innovation. I believe Ben Franklin said that, or something to that effect. And not only am I curious about what new business ideas will spring up from this, but I'm also curious about how the work environment will change. Right now we have millions of Americans working in the comfort of their homes. <laughs> Some perhaps in pajamas. Will this continue to be a trend even after the, the virus subsides? Um, maybe it will, maybe it will. Maybe employers will see this as an opportunity to cut down office costs without laying off people by having more people work from home. You really don't need an office to get the work done. You just need to get the work done. The office can be from home. Yeah, this will reduce unemployment, this will create more jobs, this will boost the economy back to where it was, if not stronger. Ah! What I've also been seeing recently, which I wholeheartedly appreciate, there's been lots of uh, support for small businesses. Target will survive, Starbucks will survive, McDonald's, Burger King, all of them will survive. But your local small businesses, without a couple good weeks of cash flow, might not survive. That's something I've been seeing a lot of, at least in my social media feeds. Like, support your small businesses, order for curbside, or order for takeout, order support them give them money to feed them and their families especially in especially in medium-sized cities like mine small businesses are the backbone of the community they provide jobs they boost the local economy there there are so many reasons to support small family-owned businesses right now with the whole virus I'm seeing a lot of that going on I'm seeing a lot of local support I love it I appreciate it if you've been grocery shopping recently, then you know better than everyone else that everything is scarce. I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about where you are right now, but some of the restaurants over here are subbing in for grocery stores. They have access to ingredients that they can order in bulk. They are reselling them actually for reasonable prices. There's this Buffalo wing restaurant there was a rumor going around that they'll give 30 eggs, 30 whole eggs to per car. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. This is exactly what I'm talking about, about businesses getting creative. If the restaurants see the need in the community about there being low supplies, they're like, hey, we could order the supplies, come right here, buy them from us. That way you win with your eggs. That way, we win with a little bit of profit. Smart. Bingo! 30 eggs for 10 bucks. A little bit overpriced if you ask me, but I totally forgive it. These guys are not in the egg business, they're in the restaurant business. I would imagine that all that profit margin goes into maintaining the restaurant, maintaining the, the employees, and any other overhead costs. Hey. 
scarce times like these, it's fine. Ah. Uh, guys, interesting update to the story. Well, the county judge just issued a two-week curfew for the whole county. Apparently, there are some exceptions. Like, if you're going to go to get food or something to that effect, you could still do that. But goddamn, no, like, ah, no going out. It's going to be an interesting two weeks. But here's my loot.